in my last video we saw about the distribution transformer its internal construction and the cooling details in this video we'll see and understand the nameplate details of a distribution transformer so the transformer which we saw last time has the nameplate details which is shown as in this figure I have written it in a piece of paper so that the understanding and clarity will be uh, easy. So the first parameter what we have to note is the KVA rating. We all know that the transformer is rated in KVA not in kilowatt. It is kilovolt ampere KVA. So this particular transformer which we saw in the last video has the rating of 500 KVA that is the transformation capability is just 500 kVA and the holes at no load they have indicated it at no load and during load the secondary side may vary depending on the load factor and the high voltage side may also vary depending on the distribution line voltage however most of the time it doesn't vary until and unless we adjust the switching taps which we will see in the future so on the high voltage side that is the primary side we have 11,000 volts and in the low voltage side that is the secondary of the transformer we have 433 volts at no load usually in India we have 440 volts as standard however the nameplate re reading states that it is 433 so that's okay that's within the limit so when you look at the ampere on the high voltage side you can see that it's just 26 amperes since the voltage is very high that is 11,000 volts we have the amperes less that is just 26 amps however after stepping down from 11,000 volts to 440 or 433 volts the low voltage side or the secondary side amperes increases drastically to 666.7 amps that's huge and the next one is the phase whether it's a three phase or two single phase or three phase something like that so usually we have the distribution transformers primary side is three phase and uh, secondary side is also three phase however after reaching the let's say an apartment or a, a residential complex the 440 volt transformer to 220 volts that is this step down transformer maybe a three phase to three single phase transformers this we will uh, watch out on the future videos however here it is a three phase HV and three phase LV side and we also saw that the LV side is three phase four wire system we have the neutral either so if you have any doubts regarding this please watch my previous video on the transformers and the type of cooling is given as ONAN we saw in my last video what's ONAN it's oil natural cooling and air natural cooling the rated frequency is 50 Hertz and the weight of individual components is given here the core and wi winding weight is 942 kg just short uh, some short of a ton an oil kg that is 510 kilograms and oil in liters is also given you can see the difference 600 liters and 510 kg and the total weight of the transformer for transportation and uh, handling purpose so uh, the nameplate details doesn't end with this now we got to understand about the switching tap positions which I explained to you in the last video uh, let's see how does that work and before that the guaranteed maximum temperature rise in oil and winding is 45 to 55 degrees ambient so uh, the manufacturer gives a guarantee that the transformer can function properly if the maximum temperature rises to this value this particular value now let's see how are the taps and what are the tapping uh, switching tap positions so the nameplate details also have the switch tapping positions in my previous video you have seen where it is or where the switch tapping changeover position is located we had 
uh, something like a round structure with uh, a selector like stuff with one two three four and uh, five taps or five positions so these five stuffs indicate exactly this one it's given in the nameplate detail at position one when the selection is made on position one what happens is the HP side is 11,330 ohms and the LV side is 433 ohms and the joint tap position is also given 5 and 6 we will understand this clearly now the purpose of the switching tap position is to vary the HV side voltage depending on the load but this should be varied within the limits you can't just like that vary from 11,000 volts to uh, just 1000 volts you know so it's uh, within the limit set by the manufacturer we can vary this so these positions is various variations we obtain on the HV side so at position 1 we have 11,330 volts position 2 we have 11,000 position 3 we have 10,670 position 4 10,340 position 5 10,010 volts however what you have to note is on the LV side the voltage is constant that is just 433 volts there is no change in it so and uh, one more thing what you have to note is the joint tap position let's say uh, you want 11,330 volts on the primary side and you're choosing position number one so what happens is position number one joint tap five and six which means here you can see tap five tap six tap five tap six tap five and tap six so these two gets connected and the HV side windings are uh, these two windings are engaged you know so the number of windings actively involved in transformation process varies that's what it means so for position number two let's say if I select the position number two I want 11,000 volts at the primary so the tap position six and four are uh, join or join you know six and four so six and four gets joined six and four six and four all right so let's say for number three taps four and seven taps four and tap seven tap four and seven tap four and tap seven when you select number four tap seven and three seven and three so so this is how it is and at last three and eight for ten thousand ten holes three and eight three and eight three and eight so this is how it's getting uh, selected and by just selecting or including number of windings around the primary of uh, the transformer we can alter the voltage within the limits specified by the manufacturer